Within the Crosstrax case customization, you can define the types of cases that you work. Click on settings and then click on case type, which is located right here under the case customization header. We're going to click on this case type. Now we're going to go over and you're going to see the types of cases that are in the system. Now, what are case types? Think very broad here. If you're at a party and somebody walks up and says, oh, you're a private investigator, what type of cases do you work? The case types are going to be your answer. They're things like, oh, I do insurance investigations or I do domestics or I do a little bit of everything. If you do a little bit of everything, you're going to list those here. So I do domestics, I do some criminal work, I do some process service. These are the types of cases that you take. Now, these are not the services that you perform for these cases. These are simply a very broad case type. Let's go over these four icons that you have for each case service over here on the right hand side. The first one is manage custom form. And what that is, is you can create custom fields for each case type. As an example, in an insurance investigation or insurance case, your fields may be a little bit different than they would for a domestic case. Your domestic case fields would certainly be different than they would for a criminal complaint. So you can add and modify the form for each case type. Next to that, you can quickly see the information on a certain type of case. So with this domestic case, our service is surveillance and here are the report templates that we have available for this case. For an insurance case, as you can see, we have more services available and we have more report templates available for that type of case. Next to that, you have your edit and you we're going to get into that in here in a couple of minutes and then next to that you have delete. If you try to delete a case type and it is associated with a case inside the system, the system will not allow you to delete that case type. Let's click on manage the custom form and here you can see on the right hand side you're going to see all of the fields that are available to you. You'll also see on the left here these fields are currently in the form. If you want to bring one of these items over just simply click on it and you can drag it wherever you would like to put it. If you need another field and you want to put that in there, you can certainly put that wherever you'd like. If you have these fields in the form already and you would like to delete them, you can click on this X or you can click on Edit. When you click on Edit, you can see you can drop down and decide whether this is a required field and you can really customize this according to your needs. If you want to close that, click there and once you get done you click on save form now that we've saved that form we're back here at our case type list let's go over and edit a case type I'm gonna choose domestic so here you have your items for your case type here's the name of the case type here's the abbreviation that you want to use now this is the case service these are all the individual services that you would perform for a domestic type case so you can add all of the types of services that you may work as part of a domestic case in the here so you can choose them once you get your case open so if you conduct background checks as part of a domestic you'd want to select that and you would select any of these services that you offer. You may do a background on um, somebody's significant other and you may do a standard background. These are all the services that you customize as well and there is a video on the uh, submitting and creating custom case services so you can customize those according to how you work. The same is the fact for report templates. These are all the report templates that will be available to you for a domestic case. And we'll get into customizing report templates and that in another video as well. Report entries, same thing. All you're doing on this edit screen is you are deciding and defining the options that are available to you for 
a particular type of case. In this case, as we mentioned, it's domestic. Here's the default subject type. So when you open a domestic case, the first subject type that will, available, will be available to you is the spouse. If you wanted to add an additional subject type to a domestic, you could do that as well. So you could say, all right, we have relatives a defendant and we may have a second subject as part of a domestic investigation so we're going to add that as well if you want certain case tags to be available for domestics you want to put those in here and you can select those all of the items in this form and in this selection area these are all customizable so all of these are available based on what you enter and what your preferences are if you choose to process video on a domestic case, you can choose yes or no. If you want to remove audio automatically, you can check yes or no there. If you want to add timestamp to videos that you upload into the system, you can do that as well with our video processing feature. And if you want to allow the timestamp to be changed on a video, you select that. Once you finish there, you click submit and your case type is all set up. Now, once you do this, you can always come back and edit these case types at any time. Just to recap this video, you have your case types, which are the general types of cases that you work, and you can select those by going to the settings menu under case customization. You can add fields to custom forms for each type of case. You can also view what information is included in that particular case type. You can edit those case types, and as long as a case type is not associated with a case in your system, you could delete it if you wanted to. To edit any case type, click on Edit, and then you will have options based on how you have set the system up for your case services, your report templates, your report entry types, subject types, and video and audio options.